So here's what you have to do to get um, to be able to create a spread that has an image across both spreads or an object or whatever, and then have be able to split those pages by checking the unfacing or unchecking the facing pages box in the document setup before you export it out as single pages. Um, so here's what you have to do. So I have an image here, and you can see it's over here in my layers. I just pasted it in, and I made the image frame fit within my bleed guideline. And now I'm going to copy that image, and I'm just going to paste it in place. Paste in place. So basically now you can see I have two images here. So I am going to hide the first image, and I'm going to pick the the image that's there, and I am going to <clears throat> just change the size of the frame, not the image. I'm not going to touch the image. I'm just going to make the image frame only on one side by, by bringing this into the middle line, the page break. And then I'm going to turn that one off, and I'm going to turn the other one on, and I'm going to do the opposite. So now I'm going to do this side. And again, I'm not m touching the image. I'm only adjusting the image frame. And now when I turn the other one on, there I have a complete image. And it looks pretty good. So all I have to do now is when I export this, before I export it, I just want to go to Document Setup, uncheck that box, click OK. And now you can see it has split it into two even pages. But if you zoom in a little bit, you can tell that on the inside where the pages used to touch, um, it doesn't, it's not going out to the bleed. So I'm going to zoom in here. Um, oops, sorry. Going the wrong way. Um, and I'm going to just take this image frame, again, just the frame, and just pop it out. Now it is showing me the rest of it, but once I set it, it won't. And actually, um, yeah, that's good. And then I go to the next one, and you can see it doesn't extend to this side, so I'm just going to click it, extend it, and now when I export it, both of these pages will export perfectly, but when they reassemble it in the print imaging lab, they will go together as if they were like yes, if they were exported together.